Oh, look how muddy Lulu is. Just like that. Oh, wow. I heard there's some big old sturgeons here. Holy moly. What is going on, Kafiros? Welcome back to, oh wait, lens is not fully open. Another video here. Today we're actually going to, lens is kind of dirty, one second. Today we're actually going to, all the way, driving nine hours, 10 hours, to pick up some sturgeons from a sturgeon fish farm. It's absolutely insane, you're gonna love it. I mean, here's just some cutaways of how sick this place really is. It's, it's absolutely huge, and uh, you're gonna enjoy it. If you don't even know what a sturgeon is, it's gonna be even cooler for you. But before that, we gotta feed all the fish at my house. Although, I wanna dedicate a whole video to feeding everything here, which I will do eventually. Uh, for right now, we're gonna feed them, because I have to feed them anyway, and uh, might as well film it. So here we go. Open up the freezer here, we got all sorts of stuff. Bunch of little silver sides. This right here is what I feed the 160. We got some tilapia, some shrimp. Um, let's do... We're probably gonna need like three tilapia. I did feed the outside ponds last night. Look at all these baits. Little cubed foods here. What we're just gonna do is pop them into a cup. So let me find a cup. Some water, got your cup. Now these are like mini cubes. As you can see, they're not like full cubes. So what I do is do like six or seven of them. Right now I put seven in there. And I put that many because there's a lot of fish. And including me, I like, I, I do like to taste test. I'm kidding. But for real, we got a lot of tilapia to cut up as well, so let's get this all defrosted here. Put this back in the freezer. Cutting board, lay it right here. The best knife in the world for cutting up tilapia and stuff. I don't know what that shape is like, but if you have one of those around and it's sharp, you already know. Alrighty, once defrosted, cut the bag open. What I like to do is cut straight down the middle of the tilapia and then cut lines, just like this, straight down the tilapia. If you have a sharp knife, it's very, very easy. Once you do that line, then you cut across and you come out with these cubes, just like this, like that. See these cubes? Now you got a bunch of these little cubes that come out and uh, that's what you feed the fish. That's one tilapia. Now, of course, as you know, I've got two more tilapia to cut up, so uh, I'm just gonna cut these up real quick and then pick up the camera. All hail the mighty. Brine shrimp. Here we go. Just like that. And watch them go crazy. Let's go on the other side. Other side. Other side. There we go. These fish absolutely go crazy for this stuff. Now it's kind of hard to see right now because I don't have a light on the top of the tank. I'm actually like cleaning it out and stuff right now. Also the light from the window. But I just bought blinds for the whole entire house. And uh, they're in the garage. So let me show you them real quick. Anyway, that's the 160 wall aquarium feeding right there. Real quick and easy. Before I do anything else, I want to show you. Oh, by the way, all P.O. Box signing and return stuff is being sent back here shortly. So be ready if you send anything. With a return envelope and you told me to sign it, I signed it. I'll put it back in that return envelope and send it back. Here's the P.O. Box. If you missed that and you want to send something, it's in the description as well. Send some art. We have a giant wall that's going to be made inside the office that that tank sees through into with all your guys' artwork. So. But look, here's all the blinds for the house. Literally bought them all. I just like talking about the house. So if you don't care about the house, you can double tap right here on the screen or would it be here? I don't know. But yeah, skip to it. Got a new fan as well. Look at that fan. Real nice and modern. Uh, here's the rest of those sliding. And then here's the color blinds I got. Really nice gray. And uh, that's what they look like right there. So got a whole bunch of those. Literally a whole bunch of them. Blinds for the house. Hooray. Oh, and also uh, a new front door. Because the front door I have right now. All righty, now we got a ton of cut up tilapia. By the way, we need to get fish for that table right there. Look at this coffee table. Let me put this down real quick. This right here is literally, I don't know if you saw the video, hopefully you did, but this is a coffee table fish tank. I mean, look at that right there. So sick. Let's turn the light on too. There we go. It should be like more, cent anyway. It has a light and uh, we're ready for fish. So we gotta get fish for that. And as well as the front pond. Now I don't know if you knew, but out front we have, we got a lot going on here right now. Look at our little patio bowl right there. But also, this beautiful pond out front. And a big chicken coop. Massive, massive chicken coop. By the way, winner has been chosen for the free pond. We gave away a pond just like this to be in your own front or backyard. And uh, a military vet won it. Sorry, I'm just gonna let it sit right here and you can screenshot it if you wanna read it. But uh, shout out to Kyle, we're gonna come and build his pond. And uh, actually, we're picking another winner. So if you wanna figure out how to win one yourself, all you gotta do is just stay to the end of this video and I'll tell you exactly how to do just that. Oh Lord, almost dropping this. Oh gosh, it's fallen. 
All right. Oh, uh, look how muddy Lulu is. The pigs are outside, and uh, she's all muddy. But they're hanging out right side out this window right here. All right, George, you ready to eat? Same with the bicer down there. Get to the bicer. And uh, how is our platinums doing? There's a platinum in the back and a platinum in the front. These things are getting so big. I only feed these guys at night, so I'm not gonna feed them. Uh, they're just not as comfortable. Let's feed these guys. Come on, George. I think I should have turned the light on earlier. He's still a little sleepy. I didn't. I should have had this light on earlier because then he wakes up. That bicer back there will get it right when it falls off the top of that wood. He's just waking up. You can see his fins start moving a little more now. But this tank right here has a bunch of blue crawfish and we actually grew them. They were microscopic when I got them. Literally the smallest thing ever. And look how big they are now. Look at them. Now they're getting so big it's unbelievable. I mean they were like so small. Some of them are still smaller than others. But like, like look that guy's tiny. Do you see how big he is in there? I mean it's insane how much they've grown in the past like month. So our little crawfish tank has all the crawfish and they're getting pretty big really quick. All right, well it looks like not much stuff is hungry right now. I don't want to feed the platinums. These guys didn't want to eat because I didn't have the light on. And of course these guys don't really eat these chunks of tilapia. We we're actually gonna throw like two or three chunks into here just for these guys. Look at the clown loaches going at it. Also, while well, the crawfish are hiding right now, so once they smell that, and they'll come out and start eating as well. Look at how clear the water is. Wow, where's our catfish? There's our catfish, you can see his whiskers. Wait, move turtle. No, you spooked him. You see the white whiskers sticking out of the rocks? That's our tiger shovel nose. The second he grabs it, I'll pull him out to show you. Look, look at him, a little painted. There he goes, deep down in there. Oh, hey little albino. What are you doing? This turtle right here is so sick, I love it. And he's all white now. He's actually turning, oh, okay. He always does that to me. Look at the little musk. See the little musk turtle? Hey buddy. Oh, wow. All right, so they get these big chunks. There's the musk. It's about a wreck. Boom, boom. Now, yes, these chunks are pretty big. I usually cut them way smaller, but I was planning on just feeding the fish. See how he's ripping at it? He, they use their feet just to get chunks off, so I'll show you. See the little chunk he just made? So they don't actually swallow that thing whole, nor is it possible for them to do so, but that's how they eat it. They'll just rip at it. Let's see if we can get an arowana eat on film. Look at everything. Arowana, you want to eat? Now look, this is why I'm doing a video that's dedicated to feeding because I won't feed the fish before I actually make the video on it. It makes more sense, you get me? Oh yeah, they're eating. You just can't see much because they're stirring up all the junk on the bottom. Oh, they don't want it. It just ate. Rodrigo from Predatory Fins is coming out on Monday. We're actually gonna pipe all through here and pipe this so it has automatic water changes. We're gonna have a system that runs all this automatically and sucks all this green crap off the bottom. The water's crystal clear. The green stuff gets all kicked up from the fish and that's just algae. So the only reason why it's there is because it's in the sun. Got a lot of plants right here. Planning on covering up all this and uh, much more things. But having that system that's gonna automatically clean the water for me just with the twist of a valve, it's gonna be a lot easier. And I could do it more often instead of like once a week like I have to do because of how much work it usually takes. So that's about it. It wasn't the most epic feeding. I don't really think anything ate too much. We head over to a sturgeon fish farm. It's absolutely insane. Some of the, some of the coolest sturgeons I've ever seen. Although we didn't get too much footage, I tried to get as much as I possibly could. Now this is one of the biggest fish I've ever seen in my life, that is for sure. So stay tuned, I cannot wait to show you this footage. I'm gonna send you nine hours away. It's kinda cool how just one transition could be nine hours away. I'm gonna send you nine hours away. Oh, oh, you like belly rubs, I guess. Hey. All right, so Rod's getting his giant order. See how it goes down right here. I heard there's some big old sturgeons here. Holy moly. Bro, Dude, that's a whale. That is an absolute flipping dinosaur. Dinosaurs, bro. You think they're the most prehistoric fish I think around? See how their fins are bent in? Yeah. From years and years of going in circles. Just rubbing, rubbing. Yeah, it's it kind of sad. It is. Blake was just saying for years they just do circles and circles and circles. Yeah, their fins are bent so up. their fins are bent from swimming in circles like that. Yeah, they're making this work here. Right? Look at this. Water's pouring out everywhere. We're trying to fill up the bins. Rod's trying to get his order. Predatory fins here. We drove 10 hours to get here. 10 hours. Like, not even, not joking at all. 10 hours. 10 hours. We sat in the back of the truck half the time, pulled over, also sat in the front, scrammed in. I was sitting on cup holders half the time. I mean, this place is absolutely huge. Every time I try walking around and film it, the guy yells at me, so I'm just gonna kind of sneak as much footage as I possibly can. Every one of these is just full of sturgeon. Absolutely loaded. Look at that. These are albinos. Other ponds, I mean, this place just keeps on going. Let me just zoom. 
Let me zoom real quick. Look at it. All the way out there. You can literally see all the ponds. This guy's not really having it. Nah, dude. Not at all. Hey. So we're gonna try to get as much footage as we possibly can, and I'll see you hopefully at the sturgeon ponds over there, because there's like a ton of big ones. Oh my gosh. Let's take a look around. Holy moly. That's insane. Look at all the sturgeons. Now as you know, if you're not familiar and you're new to this channel, first of all, welcome. Hi, my name is Paul, and I'm with Rodrigo, Predatory Fins. He has his own fish store, and the main goal today, he's gonna buy some fish. And he actually ordered a ton, like a thousand. But he bought the baby ones. These are actually, as sad as it is to say, it's a farm. These are all food. This is all gonna be food. They just breed them till they get big, they have eggs, and then they eat the meat and the eggs. So as you can see, they're in a bunch of big quantities and big pool ponds, and he's buying these fish to sell at his store. So he's really rescuing fish, because these fish would end up growing up and they'd be food one day. So at the same time as I'm touring this place, they're actually gonna be loading up the fish in just a second. I'm gonna film it all, and uh, it's a rescue mission. It's actually crazy how big some of these are, though. Oh my God. There he is. Look at him. So dope. So that's as much as I got. Actually, Rodrigo here filmed his view of this whole entire thing. So if you want to check out some more of this sturgeon fish farm right here, just check out the links in the description. Predatory Fins channel, show them some support. Look Let them know Paul sent you. Look at these guys, bro. Unreal. Unreal. So check out the rest of this. All this on his channel. Woo! All right, back to whatever day this goes into. We are back home now. I do have today's positive comment shout out. That one goes out to Tyler B. I doubt I'll get a positive comment shout out, but cool videos. Can't wait to meet you at Monster Fish Bash. Just got a pop socket. Hey, pop sockets available now. Top link in the description, as well as other PC merch. But Tyler, shout out to you. Thank you so much, and I cannot wait to see you at the Monster Fish Bash. By the way, Monster Fish Bash news. I don't know if you know what that is. If you don't know and you're not familiar, Monster Fish Bash is where a bunch of YouTubers come together and in this community, and we all have a meet and greet, sign autographs, eat some food. We just have fun. It's a fun day in general. May 26th was the first date we had. Then people were complaining how it's Memorial Day weekend and they, everyone was too busy to get there. So the dates have been switched to what it was around last year, which is July 21st. So if any of you were like, dang it, I couldn't make it on May 26th. By the way, anyone that's bought tickets, uh, talk to Rod. Rod will take care of you. But if you have not got your tickets yet, they're super cheap, like 10 bucks, July 21st. Come on over to Florida at Predatory Fins, where we just got those fish to bring to. There'll be a ton of fish that you've probably never even seen in your life for sale at Predatory Fins. Not only that, you'll be able to meet everyone, get autographs, take pictures. It's super, super fun. Last year was, of course, a blast as well. Over 1,500 people, and this year we're hoping it's even bigger. So if you haven't got your tickets yet, they're like 10 bucks. Check it out, links in the description. Also, you can try to take another opportunity at the pond giveaway. You can go to Greg Whitstock's Instagram and enter it there. You're gonna do is write a story on why we should give you the giveaway. That's how the military vet won it. Shout out once again to Kyle. Thank you for your service.